you're becoming a distraction to the SNP by continuing your membership at the moment when Hamza Youssef has had such a rough couple of months, would it be the best thing for you to temporarily step back, as some of your colleagues have suggested? Well, firstly, I think Hamza is doing a fantastic job uh, as First Minister. Um, I, when he was elected as First Minister, I expected him to do a good job. I, I wish he hadn't faced some of the circumstances he has, uh, but I'm incredibly proud of the job he is doing, and I think he's getting on with that on behalf of the, the people of Scotland. Um, on the, the wider question, you know, what surprised anybody to hear that, you know, I, I search my soul on these questions on an ongoing basis. I have dedicated uh, most of my life to the SNP and I don't say that uh, to make it sound like a sacrifice. It's not been a sacrifice. The opportunities uh, and experiences I've had in return have been immense. But the interests of the SNP are as close to my heart as it's possible uh, for anything to be. Uh, there may be an argument if I thought that if I was to step aside that you would all then accept that this had nothing to do with the SNP. There may be an argument that's not the case, but also what that would do, I think, would be to compromise uh, my ability and my right uh, to assert the position that I hold absolutely, which is that I have done nothing wrong. Uh, but I will always uh, consider, and I'll consider on an ongoing basis at all times, what's in the best interest of the SNP, a party that I have given my all to uh, over almost my entire life. And an organisation that for me is not abstract, it's made up of my friends, my family, my colleagues, you've heard me describe it before, as my extended family. Uh, that's the depth of uh, love, affection and concern I have for the, the SNP. Um,